Hey hey, Bouncer Yo here. Welcome. And today we're going to be reviewing an app called Perplexity. Ask anything. There's a lot of new AI apps that are popping up, and I intend to cover a lot of them. Uh, this one called Perplexity helps you to search and discover with AI. So it's a new kind of search engine that uses AI. Let's look at some of the screenshots. So you can ask anything if you want to know about a specific topic. You can also ask follow-up questions uh, for the kind of information that you're interested in. Then you can also use your voice to ask if that's something that's interesting to you. And then one special thing about perplexity is that it actually shows you the sources of the information uh, that it is showing you. Uh, when you're using something like ChatGPT, it usually doesn't tell you where that information is from. But one special thing about perplexity is that one, it's going to show you the sources. And then second, the information that you get from perplexity is supposed to be more up to date than ChatGPT. In fact, you should be able to get answers in real time, apparently. Uh, so let's open it. And uh, this is the user experience that you get. Uh, so the first thing you see at the top is these popular search, I guess, results or popular searches that people are doing. Personally, I find this very annoying and I think it's completely unnecessary. And there's actually no way to turn off this popular thing because this is information that is irrelevant to me. Um, uh, but then at the bottom here, you can see your threads, which is the things you've actually been clicking on. So it's funny that you can actually tap on this settings icon right here and you can disable your history, but you cannot disable the popular, um, you know, searches here, which, you know, they're not very, you know, useful to some people. Okay. So here we are enough complaining. Let's begin. So let's say we want to learn about artificial intelligence. So what? is artificial intelligence so just like a search engine just like google okay here it is okay cool so it actually gives you an answer so artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines blah 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 so it's a good answer and as you can see here at the bottom it shows you the sources where it got that information from and then you can also see related um like you know searches that you might be interested in in, in uh, you know exploring so let's ask a follow-up question what are the latest ai mobile apps so let's see if it's going to be able to get interesting answers and uh one interesting thing is all your results are put together in a thread like this let's see so there are several ai mobile apps for both android and ios some of the latest ones include include ai mirror ask ai imagine microsoft edge so as you can see it actually gives you interesting um, answers and these are in real time so let me tap on related so what are the most popular ai chatbot apps so it's just a way for you to explore to, to explore information as you can see so if you want to do research uh, if you're interested in exploring a specific topic, let's see what happens here. So you can see this is my thread and you can see the number of uh, questions or, 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 you know, different questions I asked in that, in that specific thread. And yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, it's a pretty simple app. The icon here is just for sharing the, the one at the top, right? And there's pretty much nothing else. So what is ChatGPT? So that's how the voice interface looks like. If you're interested in searching, again, it's a very simple app and it just, you know, it gives you answers and then it, sh it shows you the sources. I don't know whether most people really care about the sources themselves, um, but yeah, this is perplexity. So comment, like, subscribe if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.